So this is my first water hunting of the season. I did a lot of research this past winter and I think I have some really good spots this year and I'm really hoping we can at least find one good thing today to start the season out right. Water's kind of up still, it's murky and it's rather cold. I don't know how long I'm going to last today, although they say it's supposed to be 85, but it sure doesn't feel like it. So we're going to work our way on up the river here and see if we can find some Civil War stuff. I think there might be some cannonballs and artillery shells in this area. At least that's what my research indicates, and that's what I'm really hoping today. One good thing today, and it'll be a success. Let's do it. Oh, I still have my uh, chigger strainer on too, so hopefully I'll be protected today. Okay, I got a great signal here. I'm about waist deep, it's right in here somewhere. Listen to it. Solid 45, 46. That is an artillery shell sound right there. And since I'm in this area where I think is probably some shells, because there's a nice big battle here, that could be one. Can you see it? I'm going to try to avoid going underwater, but I'm going to stick the camera under, see if we can see it with the camera first. It's kind of cold out here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put my mask on. I'll go. I'll go down there and take a look at it. It's got to be a shell because it just sounds so sweet. And there's hardly any other trash in this river so far. Not much junk at all. A couple pieces of wire, but that's not wire. All right, where's it at? It's right there. Masked up. Let's go in there and see what it is. I couldn't tell it for sure. It's hard to stay down with this wetsuit on. Boy, that hair is way too is all floating in front of my mask. It's really good. Yeah, I think it's a shell for sure. Pick. I haven't looked at it yet. It feels kind of light though. What is it? Oh, it's a shell. Yes, indeed. Well, I think it looks like an egg. <laughs> Maybe it is an egg. I don't know. Yeah, that's a six pounder, man. This is a six pound cannonball, I bet you. We'll break that crust off the outside and take a look at it here in a minute. It's got to be what that is. I don't know what else would be that shape. That's about right. That's about a six pound. So weed, show number one of the year. We hope. So I'm about 20 feet up river from that cannonball I just dug. Well, what I think is a cannonball. At least I hope. And I got another really good signal here. But there's a great big log in the river. And I thought it was a telephone pole. And that maybe I had some type of spike or something. But it's sounding really good now, and it's down below the pole. Yeah, I see it's right in the 40s too. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Look at that, it's right around 45, just like the other one. I'm just gonna use my pick to try to get it real quick. So I got the pick out with the big magnet. Let's go down and see if we can grab it. There it is. Ah, oh, yeah, boy, it feels solid too. That feels like a good one right there. Can't quite get it with the magnet though. It's still stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kick it a little bit with my foot. Hopefully we can get it to come out of there. I do just kind of wave my foot back and forth. Tears the boots up pretty bad, but I don't have much of a choice. Try again with the pick. Yeah, it's still there. Nice and solid. Yeah, I'm not gonna feel the budget. Hey, no, I can't get it. All right, what we'll do is we'll go underneath, take a quick peek at it once it clears out a little bit. We'll just give it a minute here. 
So I'll go down and try to hold on to the log and see if I can see it real quick. I got the pick stuck to it, so hopefully we can find it this time. Shell. Um, I have to kick it with my feet some more. I have to turn the camera off. All right, got it loose. I haven't looked at it yet. Let's pull it up with a magnet. I'm hoping it's a shell. Uh, yeah, it's about the right weight. Let's see what we got. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a shell. Sweet. Look at that. Look at. Oh, man, I dropped it. Turn my foot. I got it again. Alright, let's see what we have. <sighs> yeah, that's a beauty. That's a uh, Mullane. This is a Confederate shell from the Civil War. So that other round thing I have is undoubtedly a six pounder. Man, that's going to be a beauty. Look at that. This is the brass habit right here. This is a little bolt that sticks out the end of it. That's how we can tell it's a Confederate Mullane. That's going to be a beauty right there. Now, this is two shells in like 20 feet. You know, maybe five minutes. So, uh, man, there could be hundreds of them in here. Thousands of them. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, man, this is so awesome. The aqua is a happy chigger right now. There's two shells in just a short period of time. This is going to be a good spot. I really think it's going to be a good one. Spot. All right. I just had that second shell I dug by that log right there. And I'm working my way up close to the shore. I got a nice iron signal here. That's uh, not a shell signal, though, is it? Too low. It's in the 30s. But it's iron. Let me get my pick. Let's see if I can figure out what it is. All right. Got the magnet on the end there. There it is. What is it? It's an iron railroad spike. So, I mean, that could be from the Civil War. It could be later. It's hard to say. Yeah, at least it's a find. So this is what we ended up with today. Uh, I got the two cannonballs. This is a six-pound cannonball, I do believe. We'll crack open the cocoon when we get home and check that out. And this is a uh, Mullane shell, Confederate artillery shell got a couple railroad spikes here this is kind of interesting this is a big old cook kettle piece of it I found that and these two pieces of pig iron in the same spot and I think this is going to be a really good area I kind of had to leave though because there's a bunch of people around I don't like hunting when there's a bunch of people watching me and I got two window weights this is where the rope would have gone through that helped uh, counterweight the windows the great big windows on the old homes to make them open easier i have no idea what this thing is but yeah this was a good little spot um i'm really looking forward to getting back here when the water's warmer and there's not so many people out uh, today's actually memorial day and there's, i've seen at least 100 people on the river so it's driving me nuts but we'll get back here again i think there's going to be a lot more shells out there especially and i think this is a colonial area i'm looking at right here i'm looking forward to getting back there too Alrighty, I'll show you what these look like here in a couple minutes. Okay, this is the Mullane shell that I found. And you can see this is how it was laying on the river bottom, just like this. This was up. This was down, so all the rocks and gravel and mud have been stuck to the shell. And it does that because the iron in the shell starts leaching out slowly and it kind of cements everything. This is actually a dropped shell. It was never fired out of a cannon. You can see the the ring here is perfectly round 
if it's fired, the rifling on the cannon would have indented this a lot. So you actually see the rifling marks here. And there are none. So this was dropped. What we're going to do is just take this little hammer. We're going to tap some of these rocks off. Again, this has a wood fuse. So the water can get down in there and has over the last 150 years. So this is going to be perfectly safe. Tapping it will never hurt the shell anyway. It'll never make it explode. It takes fire or spark to ignite gunpowder. Well, we'll just tap a few of these rocks off. Make it easier to just get the electrolysis started. You have to be very careful not to hit the iron underneath. You can see where it's smooth right there. That's the good iron. We don't want to hit any of that. But we'll just tap a few of these rocks off. Rocks off. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, see, it's nice and smooth right there. That's good for now. Let's get the other shell. Well, what I hope is a shell. I'm thinking this is probably a six pound round ball or, you know, just regular cannonball. It's a little bit oblong, but that's probably just because of the way it was laying and the way the rocks got cemented to it. Let's go ahead and tap this off, see what happens. And I can see it right there is coming through. It's starting to come off there. So it's not a very thick layer, which is good. That's definitely a cannonball. I can see how smooth that is. This is going to be a nice one. I hope. See it's flaking right off. And be very careful not to hit the actual metal on the shell. You don't want to dent it. Give it a quick rinse. Look at that bad boy. That thing pretty. This is a six pound solid shot. There's no fuse in it, so it's not hollow and there's no gunpowder. It's just a solid iron ball. That is nice. A little electrolysis on this. A little um, hot wax. You can see a mold seam right here. And that's going to be a beautiful shell. Love it. Well, the aqua chigger is a happy man right now. Uh, yeah. Also freezing to death. Freaking cold.